Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the comic coder. Thank you so much for click and play on this video. In this video, I have five more foundational comic books that I've added to my collection this past month. And I'm so excited to show you guys what these are. Before we get started, I want to let you know this video is sponsored by hipcomic.com. Hipcomic.com is designed by collectors for collectors, and their vision is to help comic book shops thrive by building products to help them grow in the digital age. For collectors looking to sell, Hipcomic has a unique scanning feature, which will allow you to list up to five times faster than traditional methods. Just snap a picture of the cover and the unique comic scanning feature will add information such as volume, issue number, publisher, and more. Hip Comic also features over 1 million listings from some of the most trusted comic book shops and dealers across the world. There's a link in the description below that will let them know that I sent you. Definitely check out the link in the description below to start shopping today. All right, so I've got five foundational books. If you're brand new to the channel, thank you so much for click and play on this video. Thank you so much for watching and coming along the journey of building a foundational collection with me. Foundational books increase the overall eye appeal of your collection. They increase the overall value of your collection. They should be universally recognized by all dealers, all collectors across the spectrum. And they're not dependent on speculation or movie hype. These books are forever keys. They will always be important regardless of whether the character or, or the event is in a movie or not. These books are the books that when someone's going through your collection or someone's looking at your collection, these are the books they're going to pull out of your collection and say, those are the key issues. And that's where the value of your collection is. So hopefully you guys are excited about this. If you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscription button. Everybody hit that thumbs up. It really helps these videos get to somebody who may not necessarily be subscribed to the channel, watching the channel, etc. So I'd really appreciate the, the thumbs up. And I, I've been hearing a lot of people have been playing like foundational comic book bingo. So if you've got these books, let me know how many of the ones that I show today you have in your collection. And I hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Here are the five books. We're, we're going to get straight into it. The first one is a key that I have loved since I was a little kid. This is a very, very important book. And what a great cover. This is Silver Surfer number 44. And this is from 1990. This is such a great book. Such a great cover. You've got a humongous Thanos holding on to Drax and holding on to Silver Surfer. Incredible, incredible cover. This is the first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet. Such an important weapon in Marvel comic books in the 90s. Such an awesome thing. It even started its own, you know, saga, the Infinity Gauntlet. This is, is, it's so great. Really do love this book. It's a forever key. This has always been recognized. All of these books, I paid a total of $75 from backseat cards and collectibles in Champaign, Illinois. For this one in particular, I so I, I don't know exactly what I paid per each each book, but for this one in, in raw condition, you know, probably near mint condition, 15 to $25 is what I would stick around. So really, really great forever key and foundational book. This is the first appearance of the Infinity Gauntlet with a great cover. I'd probably pay anywhere from 15 to $25. Next book up is for my DC fans and anyone who really likes just awesome keys. This has been a book that I've loved forever, especially since the death of Superman when I started collecting. Love this character. And so this has been a book that I've looked for and collected for a long, long time. This copy is brand new to my collection. This is Booster Gold number one from 1986. This is the first appearance of Booster Gold. Booster Gold is such a great character from the future who's come back to the present time and he's got this droid, really, really great companion of his. Just an awesome character. Really, really, you know, best friends with Ted Cord, the Blue Beetle and they, they're like buddy cops. So this is a, a great first appearance. When I was growing up, he was an integral part of the Justice League of America. So this is a great, great book. Happy to own this one. I would probably estimate paying anywhere from $30 to $40 for this book. I would get it in high grade because you can get a nice copy in high grade and lower grades really aren't gonna be worth that much or help bolster your collection. But this is a great issue. Booster Gold, number one. All right, next up is such a great character and such an awesome cover. This is a very, very iconic Mike Zek cover. This is The Amazing Spider-Man number 294 from 1987. And it is the death of Kraven the Hunter. And it's part five in the Kraven's Last Hunt series. Great, great Mike Zek cover with Kraven. Um, some of the animals that he's hunted, some of the wild animals that he's hunted. And you've got Black Suit Spider-Man. Really, really 
great book from 1987. First of all, Mike Zeck, beautiful artwork. And second of all, the key issue is that, that it's Craven's death, self-inflicted gun wound. Really, really great book. This has always been a very, very cool key. Once again, I paid $75 for this entire lot, so I don't remember exactly what I paid for this one. It's a newsstand copy. This one, I would probably expect to pay anywhere from 20 to $25. You can probably get yourself a, a pretty solid copy for that price. This is Amazing Spider-Man 294, The Death of Craven the Hunter. All right, next book up is the first in an ongoing series, first issue of an unlimited series, and this is Punisher number one. Once again, a great, great cover. What's this, what's Punisher going to do? I mean, honestly, he thinks he's going to shoot this bazooka into this room from that close range. Dude's going to get blown off the building. But anyways, really, really great book. And this is from 1987 as well. First in the ongoing series, the series before this was the limited series. I'm looking for that number one issue of the limited series. I would probably stick to around 20 to $40 for this book. I think that's a fair price based on raw comps that I've seen you know currently so anywhere from 20 to 40 dollars you could probably get yourself a nice decent solid grade on this book yep Punisher number one from 1986 awesome awesome book and in this foundational series I try to stick to copper age books right now I'm really trying to build this amazing copper age collection foundational collection that's just going to be incredible amount of keys I do go outside of the copper age the copper age is probably 1984 to 1994 maybe that that, that um, 10 year span this is this is obviously before that but this is from 1980 it's avengers 196 i just love this book and if i'm flipping through my short box and i'm seeing all these keys this one definitely belongs in that box of keys it's a newsstand copy but not like that matters because before 1985 86 newsstands were the majority so who gives a crap I think it just looks cool. Um, Avengers 196, the first full appearance of Taskmaster. In 195, there was a cameo of Taskmaster. This is the first full appearance and cover appearance. It's awesome. What a great, great book. And regardless of speculation, regardless of movie hype, if if Taskmaster is going to be in the Thunderbolts, this has always been a key. This has always been a great book. Avengers 196 from 1980 first full appearance of taskmaster i would probably plan on paying anywhere from 40 to 60 dollars for this book to get you know upper mid grade probably 80 to 90 maybe for that 40 to 60 dollar range but that's what i would plan on paying for that book but that's it i love taskmaster i think taskmaster is one of the best avengers characters no matter what the avengers throw at him he's going to adapt he's going to learn and he's going to learn that fighting style and throw it right back at the avengers just a great great villain a great great key so yes these have been added to the foundational collection. Love it so much. Once again, if you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos, hit that thumbs up. Would really appreciate that you guys and comment down below how many of these books you have in your collection. Also let me know if there's other books that you think belong in the foundational comic book collection. Thanks once again to hipcomic.com for sponsoring this video. There's a link in the description below. Check it out and start shopping today. With that being said, you guys, I will talk to you all on the next one. See ya, bye.